Hello, my magician. Welcome to Friday. <laughs> I love that, don't you? Sunny and productive today for the magicians. That's because the moon is now in Aries, putting emotional focus all weekend long on what we call soul capital. Soul capital begins with our own self-esteem, how valuable we feel to ourselves. We can't create value in the physical world if we don't feel it within our own soul. Remember the law of attraction. If you feel like crap, you're going to attract crap. If you feel valuable, you're going to attract value. So this weekend, you are emotionally processing in that regard, and you'll find that you are very productive in your life. Now, for those of you who have Pisces risings, you'll find that your overall story this weekend about your general life, to boil it down in a long-term fashion, will be also focused on a little bit of increment when it comes to soul capital. Now, Venus is a very important planet to bring up right now. Venus has been in Aries for some time. Venus is the creation vibration filter of the solar system. It tells us where the universe is investing in creative, in new, in love, in healing, etc. Right now, of course, with Venus and Aries, you are investing into crops that will turn into productivity and money in the future. So the moon will cross in front of Venus in the next 24 hours, which is a nice shot in the arm of optimism and good vibration. So if you have any kind of wounds when it comes to self-esteem or things you think back and go, oh, feeling bad about yourself, take that Venus vibration and make yourself feel better. Use it as a healing agent if you can. Now zipping around to the sun. Today the sun is ruled by Mars, the planet of action. We're at the end of chapter one of Sun in Pisces. It's your birthday period. And yesterday I said it was time to make decisions about what you want to cut away from your ego and the way you put yourself out there. Well, now that you've made that decision, it's time to act on that decision. Remember, to light cast reality, we not only have to visualize, we have to actually take steps in the physical world toward what we want. So, given that you know what you don't want, take some action this weekend toward what you do want. Maybe you need to investigate uh, some sort of new way of looking. Maybe you need to read a book on not being so over-defensive. Maybe you need to read a book on how to be more defensive. Ego deals with the way we put ourselves out there and the way we protect ourselves. Next week in Chapter 2, we're going to actually pursue this full-time, these new goals for 2009. All right, Pisces, that's all I have for your weekend forecast. I'll see you back on Monday with more. Until then, live, love, be. TV. Howdy, folks. It's Christopher Watecki, your friendly neighborhood astrologer. Hey, you know, this week we ran some commercials for personal readings, and many questions came back about what is involved in a personal reading. So you know what? I sat down and took the time to actually explain on camera what I do in a personal reading and hopefully answer some of your questions. If you'd like to view that video, you can find it on the channel page of Soul Garden on YouTube, or you can come down to thesoulgardencollective.tv and you'll find it under readings. Hope to see you soon.